Yeah, well, take two. I, I started a video a minute ago. I'm, I'm not sure how far I got before I realized that I'm not recording. So, welcome to the shop. It's Saturday. I am not doing a project today. Uh, as much as I would like to, I am uh, sort of taking the day off. Got a little cup of coffee, about 20 degrees outside. It's 45 in here, according to my thermometer. Which is, uh, you know, I, I could use 10 more degrees if I was working, but... Uh, yeah, I've um, I've been really busy lately. I had some unplanned vehicle maintenance things go on, and that really got me sore. Like moving a battery in and out of a truck a bunch of times, it was an aggravating problem that didn't get solved. But I uh, yesterday I ran some Cat Five through my attic, and I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with working in an attic, but I am not familiar with that. That's not the kind of work I'm used to doing. So man, I feel like I've been crawling all over because my attic, I've got a hip roof, so there's angles coming in in every direction. There's not a good way to traverse the uh, from one side of the uh, attic to the other, which is of course what I had to do, right? Walk across a two by four <laughs> for like 30 feet, yeah. That's, uh, I'm, I'm honestly, both me and my wife are surprised I didn't fall through the ceiling yesterday. But that's just life, right? My next house, the house I retire in, will be a gable roof straight all the way across. That, that's it. That's it. But anyway, so I ran a couple of Cat 5 drops. And yes, uh, it is still 2018. We did not get magically transported back to 2003. But I play a couple of online games and it's nice to have a wired connection. <clears throat> in addition to that, when I had my shop built, which is where I'm at in case you didn't notice or in case I haven't mentioned it, I had them run me a Cat5 line out here. Um, I just said, run me a line and, and put 60 feet in the attic and I'll figure out what to do with it. So that's kind of where we're at now. Uh, I have made the connection to where I can put like a wired bridge out here because the wired wireless internet just doesn't reach through two layers of brick and all that. It just doesn't. I don't have a good quality signal out here. And I'm actually, I've got some plans to put a computer out here and some other appliances that will use, excuse me, a little hic hiccup, uh, last cup, you know, last cup of coffee. So, uh, I've got some, some plans to put some internet items out here. So what I really wanted was a wired bridge. I've got an, an extra router in there that I'm gonna put out. But anyway, I had to, I've done a terrible job of explaining what I've been doing, but we moved rooms around. I needed to add, you know, two or three internet drops where we would have wired access. And, uh, you know, yeah, I know, you, you can do all that stuff through wireless repeaters. Believe me, I get it. Uh, I am still a believer in the wire, believe it or not. I believe in the cable. I, um, I also still believe in Cat5e as opposed to Cat6 or even, you know, they've got Cat7 out, I think, now. No joke. Some of you network guys are, are screaming because of, you know, why would you not run Cat6? Well, you know, I, for one thing, uh, a 1,000 megabyte whatever is good enough for me. And uh, for the other, um, I, so this is, this is one of those uh, Home Depot traps you get into, right? You look on monoprice.com and you see the, how much ethernet cable costs, right? And you're like, well, heck, I'm gonna go Cat6. I can get it in whatever shape, style, whatever. Well, you know, I had about five hours yesterday where I had to get this done. You know, an opportunity to get this done. So I went to Home Depot and they had a variety of Cat 5e, but they didn't have but one selection of Cat 6 and it was not in the spool length that I wanted. So, you know what I said, hey, Cat 6, it's great for future, you know, uh, it'll lessen obsolescence, I guess you could say. But, but really, I, I don't need Cat 6, right? I don't need it. I don't need it. Oh, there, there's still an upside here. So I went ahead and got Cat5A. 
and ran it and you know I got my computer hooked up which is like phase one right and uh, everything works and I got to thinking I'm like well you know if if technology ever overtakes us and we need cat six guess what I can just pull a cat six cable through there not a big deal It'll take me about a half hour the heavy lifting's already done right the infrastructure's already there I can just pull through I didn't stay it's not like I stapled it to the inside of the wall it's just dangling in there right dangling So, uh, yeah, five minutes and 30 seconds in, this is what I'm doing. I, I'm not doing anything today. I'm taking the day off. I may get into a project later. I've actually purchased some casters to put my list of cabinet on. Uh, I know you guys have heard me talk about the list of cabinet, right? It's kind of like, you know, women talk about the kind of purses they've got. I talk about the kind of junk I've got. So I've got this list of cabinet here, and it is haphazardly sitting on a set of a Harbor Freight furniture dolly. I, I, I should, I'm, I know I'm losing credibility by the second here, I know. But I, I just needed to get it out of the way. Well, I've got a set of heavy duty casters that, uh, that, I've, that I bought and, um, or that were kind of given to me actually. I got a set of heavy duty casters. Gonna put them on the list of cabinet. That way, if I ever need to move this thing around, good grief, man, that thing is so heavy. So, that's today in a nutshell with Adam. I hope you guys are all having a good weekend. I'm uh, drinking coffee and relaxing, and I hope you're doing the same. Y'all stay safe. And don't slurp your coffee. <laughs>